What is up guys, my name is Siege, and today I am bringing you the full-blown abuser tutorial. Before we get started, I want to say thank you for tuning into the channel and checking out this video. We are up at nearly 4,000 subscribers and by my metrics, over 90% of you watching these videos is not subscribed to the channel. It would mean the absolute world to me if y'all smashed that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please like the video. Additionally, the Snow Lodge Discord is up at nearly 900 members as of recording this intro. So if you want to, join via the link in the description for Lifetime Sanctuary Premium giveaways starting at 1,000 members and other giveaways and contests. So the real topic at hand, the abuser. This base costs over 1.7 million materials and I won't even bother splitting them up. And it relies on 12 external TCs to hold up its one of a kind shooting floor. This base is massive and only intended for very deep groups on heavily modded servers like Vital and Affinity. Given the size of this base, I have opted to film this all in first person and will do very minimal voiceovers in an effort to let people focus on the build. So please practice this on a build server before you put it down on Vital 2X. I get so many messages from people asking questions about the Atlas that could have been solved if they had just practiced it prior to building it. So please go in and practice this on Sanctuary. Regardless of all that, it is an incredibly fun base to use, it is easy to put up, and it's just very quick. So I hope you all enjoy it as much as I did in my several months using this base. Let's get this thing started. All right, so no base video is truly complete without a base tour, so we're going to go ahead and do it again. If you haven't seen the previous abuser video, please go check it out. And the link should be in this video somewhere in this panel here, and you can see the other tour as well as the cinematics. So we're going to go ahead and enter the compound. This is a 12 outer TC base, as you can see here, and with two layers of compound, of course. All right, from here, you can see early game shooting floor and the main shooting floor itself. Going in, we can also see the breach peaks that hold this thing together. And on the first floor here, we get access to our breach peaks. So we'll go ahead and uh, look at this here. So plenty of room for furnaces, all that early game expansion stuff. Going up into the chute here, we're going to go on up to the early game shooting floor. And here you can see we have a way to defend our compound without the entire base being done. And here are some retake points for inner peaks. Alright, going into the actual uh, starter unit of the base. So basically same thing on both sides of the base. There's a jump up on each side just in case someone gets one of your jump ups. You could still move around and fight back. And here at the top of the starter there's a bunch of beds and lockers. This is really good for early game expansion just in case you get raided in the first couple of minutes. Going up here, you got your open core. Of course, we got all turret coverage with ramp protected turrets as well. So you can see those when we go up here. They have angles right there through that chain link fence. And you can also defend from here too. And of course, in the middle here, we got the collapsible roof. In this video, it's an option, but you are more than welcome to use it. I mean, honestly, a really cool feature. No one is top-downing you with all that turret protection. All right, going into the shooting floor. So we'll start with the actual main peaks here. So these both peak back at the base. You can prevent laddering. Then up here, you have these peaks out into compound. A little harder to M2 and shoot you at. And then, of course, roof coverage from these. And over here, we have bedrooms on the shooting floor. So... These points you can spawn, and if people are on your shooting floor, you can retake from these windows. And then basically same thing here, only these peaks cover the roof. 
Like going out onto the roof. Let's see that we have bedrooms here. And a protected jump up, of course, with shotgun traps above it. Alright, we may have excellent roof coverage here just in case anyone lands on your roof. And of course, the collapsible roof. Alright, let's go ahead and get on into the build.
Alright, so that is it for the abuser. I've been using this base for ages now and I am entirely ready to pass it on. Um, I hope you all enjoy it as much as I did. As of right now, I'm starting to work on a smaller main base video for a base that I've been using recently. It's targeted at a group of about 16, so it's just about perfect for Restoria and main servers like that. Given how close Halloween is, this video will be a Halloween themed base build. With all that said, I reiterate, if you all like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, check out the Snow Lodge Discord and become a part of our super active community. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.